Pianoforte is the Italian term for piano during the 1700s. It also depicts the loud and soft sounds in a musical sheet. But for visual artist Alwin Rey Emilio, Pianoforte is the invisible thread that strings his artworks together. So I'm using the piano to look into the dynamics of that soft and the loud uh, in a very parang metaphorical way, looking probably at our culture, at our political parang landscape, uh, even personal. No? Through the experimental use of mixed media, collage, installations, and multi-layering of images in the pianoforte exhibit, Emilio holds ground on what he has learned as the child of a piano maker, that art, like music, can transcend from the personal to the political. Almost half of his artworks touches on the greater narrative of the Filipino nation. For him, this constitutes the forte or the loud component of his exhibit. Through the combination of assemblages and other found objects, he created exhibitions that critique and incite discussions about the past and present administrations. One of his eye-catching works is the Ad Majorem Diterte Gloria. He transformed an action figure that he acquired from his brother into a thought-provoking work of art by putting a balut basket and a national leader's mask. Just like an authoritarian leader who ruled over his subordinates, the figure was strategically placed on the uppermost part of the creative space, lording over the rest of Rey Emilio's artworks. Below the action figure, it is impossible to miss the three grand pianos set at the lobby. For Rey Emilio, that is where the piano or the soft aspect of his exhibit comes in. It's easy to be discouraged and to just, you know, uh, step backwards and be, be, feel resigned because uh, so many things are happening in our society that, you know, strong forces that makes us know, parang feel a little small and, and, you know, that we can't do anything about it. Uh, I'd like to challenge that thinking. So it's important to create communities. So this is where the music comes in. He reconstructed old grand pianos and added found objects that he deemed necessary pieces that served as a reminder to people of their desire to bring back what they once lost. May it be a childhood memory or the fading love for country. I want them to remember the images and I want them to ask questions. More than prescribing, I'd like them to ask questions and make uh, their own connections. Emilio said that all the art pieces were necessary in weaving the greater narrative that Pianoforte wants to tell. But for him, it is only when the viewers learn to question and make the personal and political connections themselves that the aim of the exhibit can be achieved, to make the soft, unheard voices louder and heard.